God saying, my child, you can make it. My child, you can go through it. My child, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you because my hand is not too short that it cannot save, nor is my ear too heavy that it cannot hear. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Save the serve ministry. Good morning. Glory to God. Glad to see you all out there. Hallelujah. On social media. We thank God because he's a good God. Hallelujah. We thank God because he is a mighty God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I thank God. Hallelujah. That I'm still here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We honor the Lord this uh, day. We honor the Lord for waking us up this morning and starting us uh, on our way. Amen. Giving us our right mind today. Giving us the activity of our limbs. Glory to God. And so we thank God. Hallelujah. Just for everything that he's going to do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. We're going to get the PowerPoint up in a, in a second here. Glory to God. And so we just give God all the praise and all the glory. I just want to honor my husband on today. I thank God for uh, Pastor January. I thank God just for his diligence. You know, he, he works, he labors before the Lord. Amen. And we know that this is clergy appreciation month where we appreciate our leaders. We appreciate people who have uh, been following God and at the word of God gives us a word because they've been in contact with God, meaning that they seek God, meaning that they're they're asking God, Lord, what shall we do? You know, what, what, what word shall we speak to the congregation? Amen. And I believe that the words that pastor has preached and taught over these last over this last year has been a blessing to some and have been a blessing to many and been a blessing to all that he comes in contact with and who would hear and listen to him. So I'm asking, you know, my husband would never ask this, but I'm asking that you would send in a special uh, offering uh, to pastor, amen, just for the labor of his love, amen. So if the Lord puts it on your heart to give, we pray that you would give a special blessing outside of your tithes and offering where you just want to bless the man of God, whether it be 25, 50, 100, 1,000. Yeah, I said 1,000 because guess what? God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us, amen. It takes a lot to keep ministry running, amen. And, and when you see the commercial in front of the before church start, that's pastor. He put that together, glory to God. And that's the spirit of excellence, amen. He's on that top level up there with T.D. Jakes and, you know, Bill Winston and all of them. You know, he got those commercials going, praise God. You know, and then the website he built himself, glory to God. He didn't go out and pay somebody to build it, but he built it, glory to God. And he made it very user-friendly for those of you who would get on the website. So again, I ask that you would send in a special love offering this month, in the month of October, for Pastor uh, January. And not only because it's the clergy uh, appreciation month, but it's also his birthday, glory to God. We'll be celebrating his birthday, October 29th, the Lord uh, saw fit to bring him into the world almost 52 years ago. So we thank God for that. And so again, I just ask that you would please uh, send in a blessing to the pastor. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And amen. Before we get started, hallelujah, glory to God. Let's just give um, the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. You're able to clap your hands. Hallelujah. I'm just going to clap my hands. We want to set the atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you today for your word, God. Let your word go forth with power today, God. Yes, Have Lord. your way today, God, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Do what you will in this place, God. Do what you will, God. Not our will, but your will be done, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. We lift you up today, God. Yes, Father God, we lift Hallelujah. up Ryan today, God. I pray that you would go into the hospital room where he lays or where he stands, oh God. Heal his body today, God. Touch him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Stretch Lord. up thine hand, oh God, on those that are laying up in their sick bed in the hospital, God. Father God, we ask for healing, God. We ask for miracles, oh God. Supernatural miracles today, God, to take place in the hospital, God. We touch and agree for those, oh God, that are praying for their loved ones that are sick in the hospital, God. Lord, we know you're able to heal, God. I ask that you would heal, God. Heal Ryan, oh God. Heal those, oh God, that have called in for prayer, God. Father, those that are requesting prayer, God, heal 
all I pray in the name of Jesus, and it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know about you all, but I love God, and I give God the glory and the honor. And today we're just going to talk from a topic, the hand of God. Glory to God. And we'll be reading from Isaiah 59 and 1. Hallelujah. And it says and reads as this, and you can follow along here on the screen. Isaiah 59 and 1 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Glory to God. Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. And we're going to talk from the first clause of the scripture. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. Mm, glory All to right. God. All right. That he cannot save. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad God saved you? Aren't you glad that God's hand is long enough and big enough, hallelujah, to save you, hallelujah. Amen. I'm reminded of a story just real quick in the Bible in Mark, the third chapter, and, and Jesus was teaching, and there was a man in there with a withered hand, and it was the Sabbath day, and you had Jesus' haters in there too, the Sadducees and the Pharisees. But while Jesus was speaking, he saw that the man was in pain and that the man was embarrassed because he had a withered hand. And so Jesus called him forth and said, come forth, I come here. And the man came. And as he came, people began to reason in their hearts and say, is he getting ready to work on the Sabbath day? For no man shall work on the Sabbath day. But here it is that this man is sick and he needs to be healed and because Jesus is on the scene we're no longer under the law that we have to that we can't work on the Sabbath day glory to God because after all we have church on the Sabbath day and after all we do expect a miracle from Jesus on the Sabbath day Amen. and not just the Sabbath day but every day praise God Amen. and so here Jesus told him to come forth anyway even though he knew what was going through the minds and hearts of the people and as the man Come came on. forth, hallelujah, right. Jesus said, stretch forth thine hand. Glory to God. And immediately as he stretched forth his hand, the man's hand was healed. He had regular hands like we do. Amen. And no longer was it withered and crinkled up and all that kind of uh, stuff. And so the haters immediately ran and tried to wanted to go and find uh, some more people to talk about Jesus and get them to hate Jesus because he worked on the Sabbath day. In other words, they wanted to say he broke the law. Come on, My God. work it out. My work God. It out. Work it out. Jesus couldn't understand why wouldn't you want to see somebody healed? Why would he have to wait till Monday when he can be healed on Sunday? Amen. And so that's what it is, saints of God. When we come into the house of God and when we're having church on Sunday, why put it off to serve Jesus? Why are you keep contemplating in your minds that you don't know if you're really ready to serve God? And I would say to you today, don't put it off another moment. All right. Don't put it off another minute. Talk that talk. Because Jesus is here right now. Amen. And whatever you need from the Lord, he can do today. On Hallelujah. Monday. You don't have to wait till Monday. You don't have to wait till next week. You can do it today. Hallelujah. So I read the scripture, Psalms 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. The Bible often talks about the hand of the Lord. Come on. In the King James Version, the, the, the phrase hand of the Lord is found 39 times, with 36 times in the Old Testament and three in the New Testament. The phrase hand of God is found 16 times in the Bible. All right. And seven times in the Old Testament and nine times in the New Testament. Come on, come on. You remember growing up as a child, we would see he has the whole world in, in his, his hands. hands. <laughs> he has mama and daddy yeah. in his hands. Yeah. He has my baby brother and my sister in his hands. Well, so he has the whole world All right now. in his hands. Preach it. Put your weight on it. Come on. All I could think about, as I thought about that man's hand being healed, I began to say, God, thank you for your hand for healing me. I may not have had a withered hand, but I had a broken heart. Come on. Come on. You may not have had a broken heart, but you may have some addictions. Yes. You may have some unforgiveness. Yes. You may have some upside down problems and God's hand 
came and restored you. Come on now. I'm reminded over in Psalms 107 when, when they said all that men would praise the Lord yes. upon for his wonderful works and his goodness which he shown to the children of Israel. Because they said when we came to our wits end, uh -huh, we were at our wits end. We didn't know which way to go. We didn't know which way to turn. But God's right hand let them out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Preach. Out of the wilderness. Glory yes, to God. Amen. Because they called upon the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And they uh, went on to say that he satisfies the longing soul. Yes. Hallelujah. And he filleth the hungry soul with his goodness. Come on. Talk about it. It's been the Lord's hand. Yes, it has. In the midnight hour. Yes, glory to God. When you couldn't sleep Come on. and tears are rolling down your face Talk it. onto the pillow. And God's hand has a way of caressing you. Come on now. God has a way of just wiping the tears from your arm. Talking about the hand of God. Work it out. Come on. And sometimes you need to just say, Lord, step forth thy hand, God. Yes, Lord. Touch me, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. For I need a touch from you, God. Yes, you Lord. know when people were supposed to have your back. Come on. But they started talking about you. Yes. They took a knife and stabbed you in your back. Come on now. And not only did they stab you, but they turned it. Come on. Won't even call and wish you a happy birthday. Come on. I'm talking about the people you expected to be there. Come on. And we all know it hurts. Come on. When you think that you have a friend. Come on. When you think that you have a cousin, a relative that that, that you're close with, and, and all of a sudden, you don't hear from them. You hear they turn their backs on you. Come on. Talk about it. Even when you've done people wrong. Come on. Even when I've done people wrong. Come on. You tell them, I'm sorry. And they can't seem to get over it. Come on. They want to write you off as though they have no skeletons in their closet. That's right. But I thank God for the hand of God. Come on. Because I heard my bishop used to say, and I say it now that God's hand is bigger than your hand. Come on, come on. That God's hand can handle any type of issue. Yes. Any yes, type yes. of circumstance. Yes. You may be 250 pounds, 350 pounds, or even 140 pounds. But God doesn't care how big you are because his hands can pick you up. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. His hands can hold you and rock That's you and right. comfort you. That's right. Because we serve a mighty God. Man. So I began to research further. And they put it this way. Our hands do so much for us. Come on. They are capable of a wide variety of functions. Touching, grasping, feeling, holding, manipulating, caressing, and more. They are vitally important part of who we are and how we see ourselves. We use our hands to feel whether something is rough or smooth, hot or cold, sharp or dull. Even when you testify in court, we what? We raise our right hand. That's right. Where are you going with all of this? I'm using my hands today to get my point across. <laughs> I had to type up my message with my hands. All right, all right. I had to comb my hair with my hands. Hallelujah. I had to put on my clothes with my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody doesn't have that benefit or opportunity. Come on, come on. But it's not about me, it's about God. Hallelujah. Because if God did not see fit for me to do all of these things, yes. I wouldn't be able to. Preacher. But it's been the hand of God that has helped us. That's right. It's been the hand of God that will keep you yes. and that will give you the strength that you need. Hallelujah. In other words, I always say it's been the hand of God that's been the push in your back. Uh -huh. Come on now. When you didn't feel like doing it, God will push you and encourage you to say, come on, you can do it, son. Come on, you can do it, daughter. Come on, in the name of Jesus. That's Isaiah right. 41 and 10 says it like this. Fear thou not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. God is saying we don't even have to fear, saints of God, because his hand has us. His hand keeps us together when we're falling apart. Glory That's to God. Right. His hand 
glory to God. Let's talk about mama and daddy's hands. Sometimes mom and daddy hands would, would, would hold you. They, their arms would love on you, hallelujah, and hug you. Sometimes they have to pop you, uh-huh, to get Come you on. to correct, uh-huh, to get you to get back in order. Sometimes as you got older and a teenager, you want to talk back, you get that back hand, uh-huh, to tell you to quit <laughs> talking back, glory to God. But it's something about the hands, uh-huh. Some people's hands are gifted. They, they, they know how to, 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 to sow like farmers. They know how to get out there and sow seeds and what have you. They know how to build. It. They know how to do all types of things. But, it's, but I'm trying to show you the point. Everything that we do with our hands, God is greater, saints. Amen. God's hand is not too short that it cannot save. It doesn't matter. Sometimes we feel like we're in an impossible situation. No. God says all things are possible to him that can believe. But we must understand, saints of God, that we have to reach for God's hand. We have to reach for God's hand. A lot of times they say lift your hands and surrender to God. And as you're lifting your hands and surrendering to God, God's hand is taking hold of your hand. That's and right. God is saying, my child, you can make it. My child, you can go through it. My child, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you because my hand is not too short that it cannot save, nor is my ear too heavy that it cannot hear. He said, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and That's his right. ears are open unto our cry. Amen. The hand of God comes to sustain us. The hand of God will make the enemy get back. All he has to do is wave his hand and the enemy has to flee in the name Amen. of Jesus. Jesus. Because we're talking about a God who has a mighty hand. Glory Hallelujah. to God. The hand of the Lord is mighty. Yes, the, the hand of the Lord is dangerous and deadly against our enemies. Glory to God. The hand of the Lord empowers us as his servants. Glory yes, to Lord. God. The hand of the Lord can be a heavy discipline for his people. Glory to God. You ever been chastised by the Lord? The Lord will whoop you. You probably say, whoo, really? Yeah, because you know that, that feeling that you get when you said, I shouldn't have said that. And you go home and it bothers you all day long and all night long. And God said, you got to go back and get it right. That's right. The hand of the Lord is saying, you got to get it right. I'm going to keep popping you until you get it right. And we got to get it right, saints. Because that's the hand of the Lord. Not Man. only is he righteous and victorious hand, but he also has a disciplined hand. That's right. God's hand will also help his people. Psalms 40 and 2, David said it like this. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit. pit. How did he yes. bring me up? He reached down with his hand and he brought me up out of that horrible pit, out of that miry clay. And he set my feet up on a rock and established my goings. Just with his hand. Hand. Glory to God. 1 Peter 5 and 6 says it's like this. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time humble yourself Lord here am I oh God Lord Jesus decrease me and you increase in me God I humble myself oh God in the name of Jesus I not do. my will Lord but thine will be done oh God I need your hand God I need you to stretch forth your hand God I need you to walk up and down in my home God I need your presence oh God Hallelujah. Y'all know the scripture in Psalm 16 and 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand, whoo, there's that hand again. At thy right hand, there are pleasures evermore. There's pleasures in the hand of God. Amen. Pleasure, saints of God. But it's up to us to really understand God's hand. Lord, I need your hand. Solomon said it like this in Ecclesiastes 2 and 24. He said, there is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. But he said, this also I saw. Come on. That it was from the hand of God. So even while you're enjoying the fruit of your labor. Come on. What is that? the hand of God. Amen. Even though you're able to go on vacations and enjoy yourself, it's because it's the hand of God. 
It's the hand of God that keeps the airplane in place Come while on. you're going from desti destination A to B. It's the hand of God that allows you to check into your hotel and keeps that hotel from crumbling, glory to God, while you're enjoying your stay. It's the hand of God. Come on. Glory to God. For by him all things were created, the hand of God. Amen. That are in heaven and that are in the earth. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by all things and by him all things consist. Amen. Talking about the hand of God. Hallelujah. It's been the hand of God, saints of God. Amen. I would say in your prayer time, when you're praying, ask the Lord to touch you. Ask the Lord to breathe on you. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord, hallelujah, to touch. Lord, I just need a touch from you. Lord, if you just touch me, it'll be all right. Lord, if you just touch me, it'll come to pass. Amen. Lord, there's nothing too hard for you. For you have the whole world in your hands. You have the whole world, God, in your hands. Not just me, God, but you have Australia. You have Iran. You have Afghanistan. You have the whole world. China, Korea. You ever thought about how God makes sure your body is acting right? And not just yours, but the rest of the world. Amen. Billions of people. What a mighty God we serve. And that's why he was telling you. I'm so mighty. That when I reach out. I can touch everybody at Hallelujah. the same time. Hallelujah. He said, I'm God. Moving all things. Why? Me, myself has never moved. Hey, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's God. He's powerful. Yes, he is. Why not serve a powerful God today, saints? Why not give it all to God? Hallelujah. Because he is powerful. His hand saves us. His hand teaches us. His hand leads us, glory to God, into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Glory to God. So as we wrap up on this Sunday morning, my prayer is that you will understand that you ask God to stretch forth his hand and touch your situation, touch your issues, whatever you need from God. Ask God to touch you. Say, Lord, I need an encounter with you. I know how to pray, God. I know how to read my Bible, but I need an encounter. I need to know that you're real God. I need to know God that you are you are who you are. I was reading in the book of Exodus and, and Moses and God were friends and they were talking and Moses said, well, Lord, let me see you. He said, ah, no man shall see my face and live. He said, but what I'll do, hey, glory to God. He said, I'll pick you up and put you in a rock. He said, and when I pass by, you can see my backside. Woo, glory to God. <laughs> All right, now, teach it. Moses got to see God's backside because God wasn't ready to take him just that. Because he said, no man shall see my face and live. Because I can imagine it's this big, beautiful, shiny, bright light where you can't handle it. It'll take you out. But what I liked about it, and I believe that's probably going to be my next message, because he picked Moses up and placed him in the cleft of the rock. He said, and when I pass by, you can only see my backside. Emphasis on today is that he picked him up with his hand. Glory to God. And I don't know about you, but God has picked me up so many times. Y'all remember that son that I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right, but something got a hold of me. Glory to God. And it was the hand of God that got a hold of me. It's the hand of God that got a hold of you. So without further ado, if that's you today and you say an evangelist, I do want God to touch me. 
I do need God to stretch forth his hand over my life, over my children, over my family, over my finances, over my job, over my body. I need a healing. Lord, I need you to touch me. Wherever you need a healing, place your hand there. Place your hand there. And say, Lord, touch me. Touch me, Jesus. Heal me, Father God. Heal me, Father. Lord, please put your hands on me. Put your hands on me now, God, and heal my body, God. Father God, you sent your word to heal all our diseases, oh God. Heal in the name of Jesus, oh God. Heal and I shall be healed in the name of Jesus. That's right, brother. Talk to God. Come on, talk to him. Ask him to heal you. Say, Lord, heal me because your hand is not too short that you cannot save. Come on, sister. Talk to God. Say, heal me, Lord. You know God. Hallelujah, Lord. Put your hands on that sister, that brother, God. Put your hands on us, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Touch God. Hey, touch Lord Jesus. Touch Ryan, God. Touch Cammy, God. God. Touch God in the name of Jesus, God. Touch for lock, God. Touch God. Hey, God, you sent your word to heal all our diseases, Touch God. Touch the God. Heal Father God. Heal the arthritis, God. Heal the arthritis, oh God. Heal the prostate cancer, God. Hey, try it up, God. Try it up, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But Jesus, we rebuke and bind the spirit of pain in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus Hallelujah. over the bodies now. Hallelujah. Wherever you touch, I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus prevails. 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 The blood of Jesus in the name prevails. of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for healing God. Hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah. Our prayer testimony Hallelujah. comes forth today, God. Hallelujah. Our prayer Thank testimony you. comes forth that you Hallelujah. healed God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you set free God. Thank you, Lord. Because your hand I'm is not short. Sure. That you cannot save. Hallelujah. Thank because you. your ears too heavy that you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. January is coming. We ask that you, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord, saints. He's here for us. Amen. God bless you, and I pray that you've been blessed by the word of God.